Welcome back to the channel guys. If you've ever learned something new from the YouTube comment section, hit that thumbs up button. Some of you might remember I made a video recently um, within this last year, I think, cutting off the bottoms of doors with a Festool track saw by clamping the track to the door and cutting them off in place. Two guys on that video commented that they just run a circular saw on the floor and use the fence as a guide uh, running against the floor. And if you have the right offset on your saw, an inch and a half offset is what is on this saw and that's what I need, then in theory you could do that and it would work great. So we're going to try it out. I've got my door here and the first thing that I'm going to need to do is set my depth on the door to a little over an inch and three eighths so that I'm not cutting too far past. So that should be good right there, matching the thickness of my door. Okay, first one, here we go, wish me luck. Shakalaka. That's pretty crazy. Now, if you guys have been following this channel or me on Instagram for any amount of time, you know that I'm all about lean, efficient, anything that gets the job done better, faster, quicker, and creates more value is a good thing in the new production trim world. And you know, the other video I posted using a Festool track saw, that requires an expensive saw, an expensive track, getting those tools out. This is a much leaner approach. All I'm grabbing is a circular saw. And of course I can do this because where I work, we don't install flooring until after trim work. So I'm just running on the subfloor or concrete um, and it's gonna work great for me. So what can I say guys, my mind is blown yet again at what I learned um, that I haven't ever done before. So this worked great in the work environment that I'm in with no flooring going in before trim. Anytime I have carpet going in, I want the bottom of the door to be an inch and a half off the floor, which is exactly what this saw will give me. So it's perfect for that. Um, it's gonna save me a ton of time and it's gonna be my new go-to method for sure. So thanks to the two guys who commented on that video who taught me something new. Um, I do read the YouTube comment section and um, there's a lot of great people in there. There's also some rude people in there. So thanks for all you guys who contribute down there and offer your experience and perspectives to the guys who are kind of rude. Just know that I do have this magical button that puts you in your own special universe where you, uh, nobody else can see your comments anymore. So that being said, hope everyone has a great day. Hope uh, even if this isn't applicable to your workflow, I hope that uh, 
hey, tuck it away. Maybe you'll need it sometime in the future. Uh, common objections, I think some guys might say, well, what if there's a hump or dip in your concrete or your subfloor? That could happen. Um, didn't have any issues today doing this. Then the other issue I could see some guys taking um, issue with would be tear out with the blade and look, just put a sharp blade on it. These are unfinished doors, they aren't painted yet, so I think it's gonna be just fine. Hit the edge with a piece of sandpaper if you want, if it needs it. Otherwise, I think this is a great method. So thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.